In this video, we are going to show you how to install Smart PSS on your computer. This is a Windows 7 workstation, and you can see the link we've already downloaded. You can find this download on our website. Double click on the file, and the program installation menu will pop up. Click Next, and the terms and conditions come up. Click Accept, and then click Next. Make sure Smart PSS is selected, and unless you are a professional user with security cameras, click PC NVR so that it is no longer selected, and then click Next. Unless you want to change the download destination, click Next again. It will take a short time to install. Once the installation is complete, on the following screen you will click Run Smart PSS and click Finish. The program will automatically upload to the login display. The default login username is admin as well as the password. You can change this once you are logged in. This password is separate from your DVR. Once you've logged in, the first thing you do is search for your DVR. You can do this by clicking the Devices icon in the bottom left. If you do not see your DVR listed here, click Refresh and it should show up. Select your DVR and click Add. In the pop-up menu, click OK. Your DVR will appear in the bottom half of the screen. On the right of your DVR listing, click the pencil icon. On the pop-up screen, enter in your username and password of your DVR, not for Smart PSS. Default username and password is admin. Click Get Info. The boxes below will populate with the serial number of your DVR and its corresponding information. Once your DVR and Smart PSS sync, it will say online. Once you are online, exit out of the devices by clicking the X at the top of the Devices tab. It will bring you back to the main menu. Now you can go and look at your cameras by clicking the Live Preview or hitting the Add button at the top of the screen. In the pop-up window, click Live Preview. On the next screen, on the right-hand side, you will see a tab for Devices. Under Default Group, you will find your IP address listed. By clicking the plus sign next to your DVR address, a list of all the cameras will be displayed. To pull up which camera you want to view, select which grid pattern you want first. This will determine how many cameras you will view at one time. In this case, we have it set for four cameras. Then click and drag the specific camera you want to view into the grid square you, where you want to view it. So as you can see, this program easily allows you to view your cameras in real time. You can change the name of your cameras by right clicking and in the drop down menu click modify channel name. The camera in the top right is the pan tilt zoom camera. This program recognizes that just by clicking in the camera square. This will bring up your PTZ adjustment features which will allow you to zoom in and out as well as pan the camera to wherever you want to look. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.